Hello everyone and welcome to part 11. In this part we are going to do many exciting things. One of them is we are going to count moves and points, then we are going to fix some things and overall we are going to improve the game because there is always room to improve. Now if I come to object brain, you see in the create event we have these variables. And I'll write somewhere that global var this global var is not good to use. Well, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, if you don't like it, you can use global.busy, global.supermotor. You can set everything to be global. Well, anyways, I'm going to use global dot, uh, variable uh, in the future videos. So, we are going to use two variables here, and they are the moves and the points. So, you want to say global moves equals something and global points equals something and I did not want to hard code these but let's just do it here then we want to draw these somewhere but first let me focus on busy now this variable is really important what this variable does is it stops the player from doing any move and we want to stop the player only when we are doing something which means if we if the game is swapping two candies we don't want the player to be able to swap another two candies in a different place or even to interrupt the game from doing something that it's doing so in order to implement this busy first thing I will just go and delete the step event see how cool is that then I'm going to add a draw event and here we are going to draw text and uh, you want to say draw text at a position then say busy for example then add a string which is busy then you do the same for moves and same for points and make sure that they are at different positions well that is that we come to object candy and we are doing lots of things here well in the step event I'm going to remove or to cut this uh, dragging part and after if stable exit I want to write busy equals true and you might be asking why well if we are stable then all right but if we're not stable it means that we are busy obviously it means the game is doing something so we don't want the player to interrupt here so we set busy to be true obviously then you want to set busy to be false when we are done so where to add this busy equals false well I don't want to set busy to be false inside every instance this is terrible because busy would be true true false true false true false uh, through each object so in order to avoid that I'm going to use this variable which is last candy which is uh, locating the last candy all right so here we check if this instance is the last candy so we say if last candy equal equals id busy equals false but it's not practical here because maybe this instance is already done from moving or anything but another candy is moving in the next frame so we don't want this gap to be uh, ruining everything so in order to avoid this you want to set an alarm and we want this alarm to be in object brain so we have alarm zero and we say busy equals false that's it and here we want to say object brain dot 
All right. But if we are swapping candies, then this event, this part is not going to be triggered at all. So we need this to be somewhere else too. I'll just copy this and paste it here. Well, here we swap back. If you remember, when we are swapping, we're checking for a super match and what, whatever else here. Then we come here and swap back. Uh, but you might be asking, well, why we want to do this only when we are swapping back? Well, when you swap, you set busy to be true and you want to set it to be false when you swap back in order to let the player make the next move. You understand what I'm saying? Well, and you see, I'm not checking for a last candy. Why? Because if you come to, what is this? I, we don't need this anymore. If we come to left pressed first, we don't need this table anymore. So I'll just cut this but we need this when we are swapping. So if you come to script swipe, we want to add it here after dragging. So we say stable equals false. Here you want to say last candy equals ID. So we set the instance that we touch to be the last candy. And this is very logical because we want to check the last candy that we touched. Other candies do not matter anymore. All right. Now we want to decrease moves when we swap candies. But um, we want to decrease moves only when we are doing a valid move. Now you won't be asking, well, what does it mean a valid move? Well. If we swap two candies and they don't match, well, they will swap back and obviously you don't want to consider this as a valid move and decrease a move. That's not good. So we, you, you want to do it only when uh, the candy is matching with other candies. And that's actually very easy because we already do that. If you come to alarm three, I think, yes, here. First we check to see if we are matching anything. Then you say if no match do this. And easily we can say else which means we are matching something. And here you can say for example global dot moves minus equals one. But this is wrong. You know why? If you run the game and I hope everything works. Well you see now busy is false because everything is stable and we have 15 moves and zero points if i match these two and i cannot do that because we removed the dragging and i removed it from here we should have pasted uh, pasted that in another event well let's just do that we come to uh gesture and add dragging and paste the code here so if dr you understand we just took this from this step event all right and we don't need this exit because we needed that because it was in the step event all right let's run the game Well, if I swap these two, we will have 14 moves left. See, 14. But if I swap these two, you see, this candy will match with these candies. And this red candy will match with these candies. And both of them would trigger this alarm three. And both of them will decrease by one look 14 
and now we have 12. So how to fix that? Well, it's easy actually. You want to remove this co this code first and you want to come to object brain, add a new alarm, alarm one and paste it here. Then you want to trigger this alarm from here and it's a tricky one. You see, this object triggers alarm one. It sets alarm one to be in the next frame. Then the other object comes and sets this alarm to be next frame, which means it does nothing. So all it does is just triggers this alarm. So easily we just say object brain dot alarm one equals and you can say delay here too. It's okay. Then we run the game and you see we are not doing anything. Yeah. Why? Because we set this to alarm two. And how genius of us, of me actually. <laughs> we set alarm one and we write alarm two. All right. So. 14 and 13. You see everything is working fantastically. Then if we come to the destroy event, you can write this before everything. Say global dot points plus equals one or I don't know how many points you, you want to add for each candy that gets destroyed this is obviously going to work you see we get three points and here we get another three here we get six so and so on so you see everything is working right now and um, well I think this is enough for now I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one